Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to World of Tanks. We have one more new tier 10 vehicle to cover and this is Object 268 version 4. Tank that has been in a lot of drama. Tank that at first was introduced as a replacement for 263 and after a few months Wargaming decided to pull back this idea but a few weeks after that, or maybe even one week after that, they said they are actually going through with it, and uh, here it is. This is how this new Tech 3 looks like. Uh, originally, I think one of those vehicles was removed. I cannot remember which one. Maybe M1 was removed, but now they removed old SU-12254. Uh, from the tier 9 position, they moved the 263 into the tier 9 position, and uh, they tuned its statistics. More about that a little bit later. And uh, they added this vehicle as a new tier 10 Soviet Russian tank destroyer. This tank destroyer, what is the purpose of this tank destroyer? I guess it has to be so-called assault tank destroyer in the Soviet tech tree. And uh, yes, it is really good assault TD, although that TPM was lowered a lot. Previously, 263 in the tier 10 position had amazing damage per minute, over 3000 damage per minute. But this vehicle, 2300, close to 2300 with 100% crew. And I do not know how I feel about that, but overall vehicle, I have to say, at first I wasn't excited. I wasn't excited at all. I thought this has to be the most boring new vehicle that Wargaming is going to add with 9.22, but after playing a couple battles on the test server, where people are almost exclusively firing premium rounds, this vehicle did really, really good, because its armor is really, really good. And I found myself having quite a weird problem. I didn't know which battles I'm going to show you today on the background while I'm talking about this vehicle because I literally had, I don't know, around five really good battles that I would like to share with you. Really aggressive playstyle because this vehicle supports really aggressive playstyle, but once again you have to look out for that low DPM. And I have to add that this vehicle is not for every single player. It doesn't tick every single box, but for me, for some odd reason, I really, really do enjoy it. As I said, I thought this is going to be the most uh, uh, boring vehicle, but it turned out to be one of the most interesting for me. It simply fits my playstyle, which is uh, sometimes overly aggressive. And uh, as always, while I am talking about this vehicle a little bit more, you enjoy this gameplay action on the background. And let's take a look at some statistics. Uh, all the statistics that I'm going to share with you right now are with my crew, with my equipment loadout, and with my consumables. I am using Brothers in Arms, Ventilation, Rammer, and Coated Optics, uh, because as I said, I am playing this vehicle a little bit more aggressively, so I have to spot for myself as well, and this is why I am using Coated Optics. And I'm also using food. So let's get going. Firepower, 650 alpha damage. Kind of weird alpha damage for this kind of vehicle. 650 with 293 millimeters of penetration. I like this penetration with uh, regular AP rounds. Um, you can penetrate almost every single target without using your uh, premium heat rounds that gives you uh, 360 millimeters of penetration. HE has also really good penetration values 90 millimeters uh, uh, for 840 damage. Uh, so this is that same, almost the same 152mm gun that you get on Object 705A uh, that was uh, added as a new turret and heavy tank. My preview episode about 705A is already up on YouTube, so go check it out if you are interested in learning more about that vehicle. Uh, but moving on, rate of fire, this is the biggest problem over here in my eyes. 4.46 rounds per minute equals 13.45 second reload time, with brothers in arms, food, ventilation and rammer. The only way how you are able to boost your DPM even more is if you use improved equipment units, but for obvious reasons I am not going to do that, because most of you guys, 95 plus percent or maybe even 99 percent of players are not able to use improved equipment units anyway. But 13.45 second reload time for 650 alpha damage on a tier 10 tank destroyer. 
this smells like some kind of balancing. Uh, this smells like they're balancing something with this low DPM. Uh, let's move on. Uh, Contraverse speed, uh, 34 degrees per second. Uh, Con depression, nothing special, minus 5 degrees. Uh, Con elevation, 15 degrees. But uh, Contraverse limit is actually really good. 12 degrees to the left and 12 degrees to the right. And aiming time for this type of gun is also extremely awesome. 1.76 second aiming time. So you can move in, you can move into the action, as soon as you stop you start aiming and you can take uh, those uh, snapshots. You can take snapshots in this vehicle as well, with 152 mil that you do not see that often. But Gorilla 15 however has even better aiming time for 750 alpha damage. Anyway, moving on, accuracy, once again, not the best, not even close being the best, uh, 650 alpha damage and accuracy 0 0.37. I do not know what is up with that. And average damage per minute boosted as high as possible, 2900. And as I said, the only way how you are able to boost your DPM even more is improved equipment units and uh, directives. So you have to use bonds to boost your DPM even more. So overall firepower, I like that 650 alpha damage. Usually that means you have a little bit better reload time, but 13.40 second reload time is nothing special. So the only good thing under the firepower is actually the aiming time. Okay, the penetration values are also really cool, uh, 293 with AP and uh, 360 with premium heat, uh, but aiming time stands up, and this is the only thing. You are not able to boost your DPM even up to 3000 using all the equipment units, boosting your TPM. But as I said, most likely, this firepower seems to be kind of a balancing factor for something else. And in my opinion, this is survivability. Hit points, 2100. Hull armor values, 250, 145. And this frontal armor is bloody amazing. Thinking about that this vehicle can see tier 8 as well, Tier 9. This is really good. This is extremely good. That frontal plate, for example, this is not a lower plate. This is so called mid frontal plate. Lower plate is the tiny, tiny strip underneath it. And this is your weak spot frontally. And this is pretty much your only weak spot frontally. Because commander hatches, they are also really, really strong, around 240 plus millimeters of armor. So you need uh, to penetrate it reliably. Let's say you need 250 plus at least, 260 plus maybe. And all the rest of the tank frontally is amazing. Really, really strong. I have bounced a lot of heat rounds with my superstructure, with my frontal plate, uh, with my meat plate. And uh, let's not even talk about regular rounds uh, from tier 10 tanks, from tier 10 heavy tanks with 250 penetration. Uh, people, yeah, it takes some time uh, to learn that you have to penetrate a tiny, tiny little strip. But the RNG, the accuracy RNG in this game can be super frustrating and uh, you can deal a, or you can fire a lot of zero damage shots into this vehicle. So overall seems like survivability had to be balanced with that poor DPM. But this line was known for amazing DPM tank in the tier 10, 263. Super aggressive playstyle as well, sometimes. Sometimes it worked out, sometimes it didn't. Uh, but uh, people uh, liked uh, to play super aggressively with 263, aka Yellow Wagon. Uh, here comes the Yellow Wagon as well. Now moving on into the mobility. As this is an assault TD, mobility has to be good, and mobility is really good. 75.6 uh, tons heavy vehicle, 1500 horsepower engine, equals close to 20 horsepower per ton uh, specific power ratio. Close to 20, really awesome. Top speed 55, reverse speed is amazing, I love this 22 km per hour reverse speed. It is really, really good. Maybe a lot of you people do not even understand how important such a high reverse speed is for a turretless TDs. You can take a lot of poking shots over the reach lines and you can back away uh, faster than enemy team is able to react uh, to your position. Uh, but uh, tank reverse speed is quite garbage. 29.06 and I'm boosting it with uh, extra accommodations. I'm boosting it with improved ventilation that boosts my driver, uh, with brothers in arms, with off-road driving and with clutch braking. So I am boosting it with almost everything you can. 
and it is still super super bad. Concealment 31.51, uh, spotting, I am using coated optics and uh, cryo skills to get it up to 464 and this is almost as high as it can be while you are moving because a stock view range is quite bad, 370 meters on a tear 10 tank destroyer. And now comparing it to the Krilla 15, just for the memes uh, and the object 268 as well, uh, Krilla 15, this is a glass cannon. This is not a glass cannon, opposite of glass cannon. 750 alpha damage on all the rest of the guys, 293 millimeters of penetration, better than on Krilla 15, and a little bit worse than on 268. And here you can see how bad this DPM is compared to the some other tier 10 TDs. So 268 has 750 alpha damage and faster reload speed as well on the top of that. Uh, Krilla 15 has a better DPM because 750 alpha damage but a little bit slower reload time. Uh, gun handling minus 5 degrees, the same as on 268 but Krilla gets minus 7 degrees. But playstyle once again guys is completely different and aiming time as I said on Krilla is still a lot better even for a little bit bigger caliber gun and uh, same goes to the accuracy 0 0.26 accuracy on 268 is a lot better once again accuracy as i mentioned is pretty bad overall gun handling besides the aiming time is average at the best if i am polite over here and DPM, the lowest out from all those guys. And 268 has a lot, a lot better DPM, 452 better DPM. But the survivability, no question, so what here, 2100 hit points and the best armor as well, the best all around armor. And mobility, I would say. I would actually say I like the mobility on 268 the version 4 the most, and simply because of that reverse speed. Yes, Krilla can move a little bit faster, uh, better powered weight ratio, but I don't know, I like 268 version 4 a tiny little bit more. Tank traverse speed, once again, T lowest uh, object 268 has 29.2 degrees per second without boosting it with anything, and this vehicle was able to get it up to 29 point uh, something something uh, with boosting it with almost everything possible. Uh, concealment better than on Krilla 15, but a little bit worse, uh, worse than on Object 268 and view range, uh, well actually same as on 268, but a lot worse than on Krilla 15. So this vehicle assault DD compared to this, some other competitors as well. Krilla 15, Porn, Sniper, Object 268, somewhere in the middle. You cannot be overly aggressive with it. Uh, because you do not have that good of an armor as in 268 version 4, but uh, I don't know, I guess uh, 268 is still looking for its position in nowadays uh, meta game. I have seen a lot of hate towards this vehicle, all good points, all valid points, why? But uh, for me it doesn't matter, I still like it. But, I must add, this vehicle might not be something for you. But luckily, this server is up and running, go download it and go play a couple battles and after that you can make your own decision if you enjoy this vehicle and if you would like to grind it out or not on the live server. And as always, this is a test server, everything is subject to change. So this is our first uh, iteration as well. Uh, so waiting for test server version 2 uh, to see what they are going to tune on all those new Soviet tanks. But before we are going to play one live battle with 268 version 4, let's take a look what happened to the 263, aka Yolo Wagon, aka Stalin's Sandals. <sighs> no comments needed. Vehicle on the left is Tier 9 Russian tank destroyer. Vehicle on the right is Tier 10 Russian tank destroyer. Same vehicle, different tier. Mobility almost exactly the same, improved. I can actually say mobility was improved. Armor is exactly the same. HP only 100 less hit points. Yes, view range 360 versus 390. View range was nerfed, but let's take a look at the firepower. Okay, aiming time better. Aiming time better, guys. Do you see? Aiming time is better, I repeat. DPM. 
Uh, by the way, armor, as I said, is exactly the same. So enjoy it. Enjoy it while you while you get to enjoy it. Exactly the same. Boom, boom. Yeah, not much to add. New object 263. Balanced for a tier 9 position. Yikes. Yikes, yikes. But now let's take a look at one live battle with 268 version 4. Voi nechinaetsa, or something like that, said my commander. That means let's go. I don't know, but I think so at least. Um, so, 268 version 4. In this kind of matchmaking, take a look, take a peek. Goodbye, enemy artillery, says enemy 705A. Awesome, didn't even turn blue. I guess he really hated those guys. I guess so. I'm ready for my first shot, to take my first shot. So here you can see the nice con arc, controverse limit. I can cover a lot of the map from one position. And... Uh, hmm. They didn't send any scouts or medium tanks. Who is this guy? I wanted to see if that was that articular or not. Our hero, actually, in this battle, because gun gallery. Oh, both artists are dead. Type 5 was also kind of an articular. Boom. Reverse speed. Oh my god, I love it. I love this reverse speed. You are not able to see me, of course. This guy is able to see me because Super Conqueror has nothing bad on its tank. Take that. I do not know how I was able to hit that because I didn't have enough gun depression, but I was able to do that. And that is it. 705. Super gun cutter, epic gun depression, gun handling, everything. Okay. I might be able to surprise those guys. Boom, like that. Beautiful. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No penetration, buddy. No penetration for you, buddy. No penetration, no hit for you. Let's start hitting my vehicle. Shit. I had an opportunity to move in for one shot. <laughs> I was looking if there was someone behind me. Okay, this guy is going to burn to death. Let's focus down that... This guy, who also doesn't carry fire extinguisher, like me. And now SRV 103B. I love the aggression factor. I actually quite dig this vehicle. And he's able to penetrate my superstructure. Which is not so good. And... Okay, I'm still reloading. And... Boom, take that. 152 millimeter boomstick. In the face. Now this battle was a lot more fun. By the way, look at the ammunition or look at the shots received. Every single round has been a premium round. But this battle was a lot interesting battle for us. When we didn't have to worry about artillery. 647. Oh. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Nope. As you can see, the mobility is just beautiful. Oh my god, I should have aimed a little bit more. Actually, let's stay over here. Maybe this guy pulls back or drives forward or anything. Come on, make up your mind already. Okay, he's coming back. Sniping with this tank. Not Gucci. I do not recommend sniping. Or maybe I do. I don't know yet. 
This guy I can penetrate the side. Turret. If this is not a penetration, HE goes in. Like, how are you able to dodge so many shots with bloody E4? Take that H into, to, into the commander head. Of course, now I do hit the commander head straight on. Moving in. Time to move in. Sheridan? What is up with that Sheridan body? Alright. Little love bump. Boom. Fixed. Sheridan in the first person uh, in the third person mode quickly checked what is going on moving in like a boss exactly like I do surprise AMX 50B should be to reach soon type 5 simply doesn't give a damn about me all right 50B is moving in Emptying his clip. Oh, ram kill. Ram kill. Ram, 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 ram. Oh, yes, ram kill hype. Ram kill hype. Ram kill hype. Hate you. Okay, 6k damage done. 1135 to my assistance. Every single shot received has been or was a premium round. APCR, actually. And a stanker. 19 bonds, my god. Really good experience. Oh, that was my top gun and I turped it. I had the best top gun opportunity. I didn't know that I have 5 kills. That was my top gun and I missed it. Oh well, life sucks. And this is Object 268 version 4. Upcoming tier 10 Soviet Russian tank destroyer replacing 263. And this is how the tech tree looks after 9.22 hits live servers. Goodbye, goodbye, SU 12254. 268 version 4 is over here now. Let me know what you think about this vehicle after watching today's episode. What I think about it 4.5 out of 5. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I thank you for tuning in. I catch you next time. Take care and bye.